So uh, we had the question here. Um, this person wanted to keep the center here and keep the text the same, but it was very um, distorted, the letters in the middle. So she wanted to put new letters here and get rid of these and add new letters. She already did the center. That was easy going across, but she didn't know how to shape the letters to make them fit here. So um, what I did was I left the uh, original ones there, but I hid them. And then I, she also gave us, it's a she, right? <laughs> Forgot to check who requested this. In the original file, she gave us, um, I'll open the original. She gave us the text she wanted to use, but wanted to know how to curve it to this project. So um, I I like to keep these in the background because um, I can tell the size and also make sure I have the same curve. So to curve text, it, um, they're already on different layers. This um, I can hide that, the different layers here. Those are the new ones, and these are the old ones. So I'm just going to hide that layer. I can still see the outlines since it's in black, and I want to get this to fit where that was, and I want to get this to fit where that was. To do that, I need a circle. So I will go to Basic Shapes and type CI, double-click the circle, and I've got a circle. And what I want to do is, is make this circle the same size as the one that's in the center here. And when I do that, I, I have a little trouble making it fit. That's because it's not a perfect circle. So to really get a good likeness, at least for the bottom, I need to widen this a little bit so that it approximates the original circle. I don't know if that was intended, but the words at the bottom fit a little bit better if, if our circle is a little bit wider here. So um, I can select a circle, hold a shift, and click the uh, main design and type S to stack it to make sure it's perfectly stacked. I'm not going to be keeping this circle, it's just a guide to get the letters in. So we'll start with the top letters here and have them selected, hold a control key and drag down until the uh, carrot changes to a triangle, circle, and a square as you cross over the circle. When you do that, you don't want necessarily want to have warp. If you don't have warp, your letters that are joined will will um, not wrap. And we don't need to repeat because we only need it once. So I'm going to cancel this and show you that you have a couple options. One is to split these letters apart so that you have individual letters and then they'll wrap individually. You can keep them the same and stretch them, but you get a little different effect. So I'll show you this effect first. Hold control, click and drag till you go over the circle and release. Now I went to the bottom, but all we need to do is change offset to change it back to the top. And we get it pretty much to where we want it to be centered. And then vertical alignment raises it to um, be overlapping. Right now, these letters are spaced so that they're a little bit too big. We can change the spacing here and then change the offset again to center it. To get the fine adjustments, use the arrow keys. And these letters are pretty much already the same height as the original. So we can kind of see using this 
key where they might go to be very similar to where they were in the original file. I think it needs to go up just a little bit. And again, you can make fine adjustments with the arrow. And again, offset might need to change just a little. I'm tapping um, the letters. I think there might need to be a space between fitness and gym. Spacing we can adjust a little bit here. So it's just a matter of changing the offset and getting the right position. If, if this is too big, you can cancel. And if you need more space between the two, you can select those a little bit. The one advantage of keeping them all together and stretching is they keep their spacing. I also like to check the height. And the S, original S, and this S are about the same. So I'll bring it back down again. Hold on to it till I cross over the circle. Change the offset just a little. Fine adjustments, use the arrow key. So that is one way. Now, if, if I leave these, I'm going to use the um, Control-Z to get these all back to be enjoying the way they were. There is a space in here, and that space is, is uh, kept the same if you if you have them joined, but the technique is a little different. You have to use the warp, and then you can use stretch or not. You have a, you can change the offset, but this makes the letters a little larger and a little more distorted at the top. And we don't have as much control here over the, the size might have to be made smaller to fit. So in that case, I, I would just hold a control key and drag that. Well, I'll just I'll just move the letters a little closer together to make this narrower and try again. And it's mostly trial and error. And again, it's just is still a little bit too big. I don't want to change the height, but I want to change the size a little bit so that it fits. This is really okay. just a quick comment. <clears throat> um, this is where I, you notice when I do a lot of the warping, um, I'll do around a circle. I'll, I'll try to get the circle to, to be at the midpoint because then it warps, basically it'll warp evenly around the center part of the line, or center part of the, the word, uh, so you won't have that drastic. Because, because you're so far above the circle, you're above over 100% above the circle, you get you see that um, it, it's just going to get bigger and bigger as it goes away. If you, if you do it where the uh, vertical alignment was like 50%, it'll be a, a much more even warp but then you'd have you'd have to make your circle basically go down the center line of where you want the letters to be right and so also you might want to change your flatten to to like x5 or something right i almost did that while you were talking um what brian is saying is that this circle is too small because there's more distortion but let's take a look at the text here is it distorted or not it looks like it was distorted but i think maybe that's what she didn't like and um, my preference is not to distort the letters, but to split them so that the letters don't distort. But you have your choice. You can do it however you like. To um, do what Brian's saying is to bring the, the circle larger up to about the center of where that text would be so that it's not going to be distorted as much. And so once you have your circle the way you want it, I'm going to hold a shift and click the, the design and type S 
so it's centered. And then I'll go ahead and hide that text. And I'm keeping these, again, um, joined so that, that we have the space there. And then the vertical alignment can come down to the center. And then we can change the, the offset. And having the flatten increased to about to 5 makes the distortion a little less. And we can move it over so we have a little more control here. And um, now when using that, I have a little more control over the size as well. So I'll stretch it out again like it originally was, drag it here. And now you see the letters are going over the original a little bit better with the warp. So I'll click Accept, and we can see what it looks like there. A little cleaner look than the way it was, and the curve is a little smoother. Um, then um, I'll put the circle back, and it's a little different on the bottom. I'm going to also go to the green screen so we can see better. Down here, these letters, if you, if you lay them over the original, you see that these are much taller. And the much taller letters are not going to fit that space very well. So we definitely need to resize. Um, again, we can split them and put them on individually, or we can keep them grouped. But I'm trying to resize these so they are approximating the height of the original, and they may fit okay here like this. I, I want the, the Marshall to kind of be about the same width. Okay, now in order to get it upright at the bottom of the circle, you have to mirror and flip it before you drag over the circle. So I'm going to do wrap, we call this wrap text to path. So I'm going to hold the control again, drag it to the circle, and then I'm going to move the offset so that the text comes around to the bottom. Well, it doesn't quite come around enough so I have to go to the other side. And the vertical alignment is going to be we want the letters to come about where they, the original ones were. And spacing we don't have control over. So what happens if we start this about the center? Oh, there we go. So I'm going to use my arrow to try to get these, the text centered over the original here. And that looks pretty good. With the, We have the warp on, but no stretch, and the flatten set at times 5. So we'll click Accept here. Now we'll get rid of the circle. And we will, we can remove the original by clicking on the X. And then we can change the color of that, that text, or just let's just go to the contrast mat. So now we have, have a better fitting thing.